Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our September 2016 tarot reading, and this will be for the sign of cancer. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. For the beginning, we'll take a tarot card from the top, and for the middle of the month, we'll take one out of the center, and the end of the month, we'll take a card from the bottom. Okay, and what do we have here? Well, in the beginning of the month, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Pentacles are a sign of your health, your wealth, your resources, things that you work very hard for, things that are very long lasting. And it appears that you're multitasking in the beginning of the month, Cancer. Maybe you're taking on a second job, okay? Uh, cancer people, you know, very, very hardworking people. You might be, um, you know, trying to balance out your budget. Maybe you need some extra funds. So you're rolling up your sleeves and maybe you're taking on another job part-time as well as the job that you work at. Um, there's some decision that needs to be made in the beginning of the month. And you just feel like you're unable to make this choice. Maybe it's a decision regarding your health. Okay. Or like I said, it could be something to do uh, with your finances. Um, it's a very serious decision, and I'm sure you're going to make the best decision for yourself. Um, you might even have more than two possibilities, even though we have two pentacles here. There may be more than two possibilities and more than two options that you need to decide on. So it's going to be a busy start for you in the beginning of September. Um, maybe you're going back to school and you're deciding what type of subjects you're going to study, what, what field you want to pursue. Or maybe you're leaving one job and, and going for another, but you're scared to leave your old job behind for fear that maybe the new one might not be all it's, you know, cracked up to be. But it's a serious decision, serious decision to be made. Uh, there'll be multitasking, weighing things out. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Ace of Swords. And it's one sword. And that sword really stands out in the card. And we have this bird flying over the mountain, this mountain and beautiful blue sky. And card uh, color here is very, uh, how could I say, peaceful in a way, but yet majestic. I like the clouds in the background because it's calm, but the sword is like a symbol of power. And it's the beginning, okay? It's the beginning of some type of new and epic challenge for you in the middle of the month. Um, it's a card that tells you to take action on whatever it is. So, you know, you've decided here in the beginning of the month. And by the middle of the month, you're well on your way. You're taking action on something. Maybe, like I said, it's a new job, maybe a new field of, field of study. But it's no small undertaking. <laughs> this is something of, of epic proportion, something that will, you know, greatly affect you and in a good way. Um, so it's telling you to whatever you're doing or thinking about doing in the middle of the month, this is the green light to take action and pursue whatever it is. Go after it. And then... At the end of the month, we have the Queen of Swords, and this could very well represent you. And these cards to me, these, you know, court cards are not gender specific. If this is a man watching this, this could very well be you. Not that you're a queen, <laughs> but we all have masculine and feminine energies uh, within us as men and women. But basically, this energy here, so to say, um, this may be someone you encounter, okay, at the end of the month. Maybe it's somebody you encountered at, you know, maybe your um, new job, maybe in the workplace. This could maybe be your new boss, or this could be very well you feeling this way. But the Queen of Swords is a, a very serious woman. She has lived. She has a wealth of knowledge to share. She's a very strong woman. She's very intelligent. But this is the kind of woman that has known great suffering. Okay, she's suffered in her life. And those sufferings are what have made her stronger. And that's where she gathers her wisdom from, the experiences that she's gone through. However, she's very slow to trust people. She may even have a very sharp tongue, maybe, you know, very quick uh, to, you know, shut people down if they're saying something that she doesn't like. She's very assertive and she's a very independent woman. So this can very well be you by the end of the month because you've taken a decision. You started something and you're feeling like you're on more stable ground where you could assert your independence and, and feel more independent by the end of the month. And maybe it's because you're getting things under control financially. 
maybe you've gotten a promotion, you know, and you're making more money and you're feeling more independent because you get things under control. Um, this can also be a sign that at the end of the month, you might have to stand up for yourself or something. Okay, you may have to defend yourself. Um, so basically, this type of person is going to defend herself. She's going to be very cool and calm in all situations. So if this is you, whatever takes place at the end of the month, I'm sure you're going to handle it just fine. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.